What's up, everybody? Welcome to the TJTV Retrospective Series. On today's Retrospective Series, we have David Richardson. He's been on the show a few times. He's actually did a podcast with me a few years ago, and mostly he is known for YouTube videos that we've done together. So we're going to take a look at all his work that he's done with me before. And... First, we're going to take a look at the very first time he premiered on video with me. Then his podcast and a few more videos he's done. Here we go. The David Richardson Retrospective Series. Oh, now. So, uh, let's do it. They're going to remodel me. Let's see these people answer. Doesn't help that you have like two bars. I know. I usually answer after like the third ring. But yeah, no, this number actually called. Your number has been logged and traced. A service representative will be with you shortly for remodeling. I'd like to make a, an appointment to remodel TJ Gleason. Please call back soon. Please call back soon. And you heard it there. I'm going to be remodeled very soon. So usually, if they call back. Usually like, they'll call back and the number will have, like on the other line, you'll hear me screaming, but since you're with me, pretty much they're not going to, you know. But it's a creepy, it's a creep tasta and pretty much that's what's going to happen. So uh, hopefully they don't call me back and uh, here's your phone. Alright, so we're going to light up fireworks on Dog Kennel Road. Now. Oh shit, that was fucking creepy. That was so fucked up. We're going to hell. Uh, I'm, I have a reserved fucking seat. You have a reserved seat? Yep. I hope we're neighbors to hell. <laughs> oh man, we're going to hell so bad. That was so bad, dude. I'm still in the same shit and I'm with Dave. We're here for another vlog. <laughs> what do you want to do now? I'm gonna play porn on the car radio and turn it up to full volume, so. All the Walmart shoppers can hear it. <laughs> you gotta live reckless sometimes. Come on. <laughs> Alright, do it. Penis! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pop some bottles. Popping bottles and fucking bottles. I don't even know where that went. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, this video right here was the first time we actually did a 50-minute podcast together. And this is the full interview. I'm not going to cut any of it. So, I hope you guys like this one. And, yeah. So, this happened back in 2018. And it was a really awesome interview. You know, I'd like to have him back on the show eventually again. So, here is the time he was on the show. What's up, everybody? Well Welcome to TJ TV episode 128. This is the final episode of the year. I'm here with Dave Richardson, who is fucks good. <laughs> what you say? Fucks good. <laughs> What's up? Anyways, we we're here with Dave Richardson. This is like the end of the year episode, and we're really not even doing an interview. We're just like going to be fucking around pretty much, like you know what I'm saying. Like, so, it's the end of the year. We'll do next year. What do you want to do? Definitely want to go to school. You want to go to school? Yeah. yeah I, I don't even know what I want to do. I have so much shit I like have planned. You know what I mean? Like, what about like, I know you do guitar covers though. You want to do more of them? Possibly. Possibly, dude. That's what I'm glad at, like. It's just finding like the time and just like the motivation to like put them up on YouTube. Like and editing and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, like that's the thing with me. Like editing over here is hard as shit. Like, like, 
guys, if you don't like really know, like this is my studio room, kind of like it's still like in the process. There's a lot of Christmas shit here and like fucking, you know, random shit. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> pretty fucking messy in here. <laughs> I got my like ghetto Christmas tree. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, no, um, but anyways, though, like, I will say one thing like this year has been a crazy year for me. I don't know about you. Like, a lot of changes for me. Like, what was the craziest thing that happened to you this year? Um, I'm not, I don't know if it's anything really crazy. I mean, I had a car accident oh. in the beginning and kind of sucked. It was, what is that? That was the red Jeep. That was the red Jeep yeah. that you always talking about? It's my pride and joy. And then some old lady T boned me and just oh. crushed me. It was heartbroken. <laughs> no, I, I mean, the crazy thing that happened, I mean, I guess the accident was kind of different for me, but. Mm-hmm. I Wait, mean, you were in a car accident too this year? Yeah, remember the uh, my piece of shit Saturn? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. <laughs> keep forgetting about that. It, um, the piece of shit Saturn got into a car accident, but, I mean, I guess the craziest thing for me was just, like, I had to grow up a lot. Like, you know, I mean, I talked to you about, like, my family issues and all that stuff, but, like, I had to grow up a lot this year because of that. And I That's guess, what I'm trying to do. But I guess with me, it's just more I have to, like, I'm trying to bring out my inner kid. Like, you know, like at work, when I just fuck with you, I just say, just to fuck with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but the thing with you is, though, you, like, overdo it. Like, I know. Well, I love fucking around, too, and having fun, but, like, I know when to be serious and, like, when to stop. Yeah. Uh, like, but, dude, like, I've I've lost a lot of friends this year. I've gained some. Yeah, that's how it's been for me. But, like, I feel like the first, like, three, four weeks with you – you were in a vlog. Like, he was in, like, three vlogs of mine, guys. Like I don't know if it was three. It was, it was one. It was, think, one or two. Yeah, it was, like, one or two. I think it was three. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But, like, he's going to be in more of my vlogs soon because, like, you know, I got to have Dave back in the vlogs. You know what I mean? No, but we've – me and you, I feel like me and you have hung out more than anybody at video – or, whoops, anybody at our job. Yeah. Um. I mean, <laughs> yeah, people know where I work, obviously. But, um, no, people uh, – like, people – I guess, like, I'm trying to say, like, you're more, like, of a friend than, like, you know, the guy that, I'm not going to say his name, but, like, you know who I'm talking about, mm-hmm. the, the lock guy. And I mean, like, because me and you hung out more and more. Right. Other than, like, you know, most people, which, you know, you're, like, a good friend of mine now. Like, never, like, I never really invite people in my house, but, like, you know, just your date. <laughs> No, but I mean, like, this year was very different for, like, me. I've had a lot of, like, downfalls and stuff. Um, I mean, I've, I've fallen into depression this year and just, you know, got out of it. I mean, losing a good 30 pounds definitely helped. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, dude, you're looking, like, really good, though, mm-hmm. because in the beginning when I saw you, I was like, all right, you know. Yeah, I look at pictures of myself from, like, a year ago or even six months ago, and it's like, it's like, what a difference. Yeah, I know. It's perfect, like. Do you have any like more goals to lose weight like, um, throughout the year? Well, my current goal is to get to 280. I'm like nine pounds away from that. Okay. So, I mean, the doctor, you know, the whole BMI calculator thing. Yeah. He told me that's all bullshit. Like, if I was 230 pounds, I would be like a twig, and I'd be still, I'd still be considered overweight. So, doc, my doctor told me like an ideal weight's like around like 270. Oh, so really? I'd like to get to there. Okay. I mean, eh, dude, I mean, you're losing it, though. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, you go on walks, though. Do you go on walks, like, on the weekends when you're off or, like, when after you get done work? Yeah. Usually, I just put my headphones in, just go out and walk. It clears your head. I mean. I used to, when Tori and I started dating, we used to go to Glen Alden Park all the time. And, like, we would walk. You know that big, like, thing by, right by Innerborough Field? Like, that big little, like, rock thing? You mean the gazebo? Yeah. But, it, but you know what I'm talking about, yeah, the yeah. big rock like, statue thing that people can like stand up on. It's Wait, like, no, 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 no. You're talking about in the woods. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. So, I haven't been back there in a while. We would go up there, and we would sit on the very top of the stone. I used to, used to go back there and smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> I never did that there. I was, I was always scared to do that. First time I smoked weed was back there. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I, my first time was in California. Oh, that'd be... Probably the good weed though. That was that's when my I, buddy even told me though. He's like, Get weed out in California, it's like so much better than oh, weed out here. Like when I first, when I was doing it, like when I smoked there, 
I was smoking like weed here. I was like, whoa, this is like different. And I mean, like, fuck. No, California, when I lived out there, we I had a lot of crazy adventures. Like, I met Ryan Sheckler there. What? Yeah, dude, there was like a surf competition in Huntington Beach. It was like a known beach. So we went there. We went to uh, Disneyland, or we passed Disneyland. My cousin almost killed us. And then we went to a surf competition. So I'm just sitting there in my house. I think he did surfing too professionally. Did or did he? I, well, I don't know. I used to be into skateboarding and shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. No, no, no. Wait, who am I thinking of that does? Is it um, Sean White? He does snowboarding and he skates. Yeah, yeah, Sean White. Him. Um, but I went Sheckler there at the competition. I was like sneezing and shit. So I put my like face into like salt water just to get my allergies to go away. Didn't go away. I bump in them like, oh shit! I was like, you're Ryan Sheckler. He's like, hey man, what's up? Shook his hand. I was like, oh shit! And then, uh, was he like cool? He seems like he was like cool as shit. Oh, yeah, like I picture cool. like most celebrities like being really arrogant, like just stuck up assholes. Some are, but like, yeah. I've learned, especially doing this. Like when I interviewed this girl, Audrey McLaughlin. Did you have heard of her? Yeah, 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 she went to. I think she graduated in thirteen. Did, did she or yeah, was yeah. she a little older than I think she's older than us. she's like a year old I think she's your age so she's a year older than me yeah um I interviewed her on my show I had like 3.7k people watch the show I went to like the, in person or on or like over like in person like, really yeah it's on my uh, it's on actually this page somewhere um when I interviewed her I went to Nifty 50s and people were like Yo, you're that guy that interviewed Audrey McLaughlin I'm like oh thanks like I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> but like the thing is like if you're famous or semi-famous, you have to, like, be, I guess, like, you're asking to be, like, you know, mm -hmm. um, to be noticed or something. The thing is, like, if I was famous, like, I'd appreciate every single one oh, of my yeah. fans, but I wouldn't want all the attention, and I'd hate signing autographs. <laughs> that would get old. <laughs> That's the thing, like, even, like, I've, even with Bam, like, Bam Margera, like, I always hear him, like, saying, like, I can't go to FDR because people are, like, Hey, like, can you talk to my nephew and sign my skateboard? And then, like, you can't even, like, skate anywhere. Actually, oh, I meant to tell you. December 13th, he's having an open house. Yeah, but you gotta be a skater, though. No, I think you can go if you spray paint. That'd be fucking sick. It's the 13th of December. So, wait, and I that's... have his address. It's, but, you dude, know, that'd be fucking cool as shit to meet Bam. Oh, dude. Like, if, if we didn't work. Oh, it's so. Oh, it's only during yeah, it's only during the day. Fuck. Well, he said high noon though, so I don't know what high noon is. Like, does that mean from like twelve to like five, or like because it gets dark at five? But I'm assuming he has like lights in the thing. I would think so. I heard rumors that he was going to sell his house like last year. Well, he, but like someone who would like buy that house, they'd have to be a big fan of Bam or Jackass because that yeah. house is way too personalized. Oh yeah. With the with the hardogram fucking. <laughs> See, with, You'd have to be a skater to have that house. Oh, yeah. I would love that house, dude. Like, just to live there. But, like, my it, house... It would be stupid if you got rid of that house. I mean, I, I, want, I want it. I do want the house. Yeah, but, but it's, it's probably going to be, like, $15 million oh, or yeah. something slow. Because, like, they're going to make it that way because mm -hmm. of that. But I heard they're making it, like, an Airbnb. They made it, like, into an Airbnb. I'm just like... That was a rumor. That was a rumor? It. I saw the. I saw the post on Facebook. It said it was posted through Bam's Instagram. Right. But I went to his actual one, and it's that, the post wasn't even there. Oh, so really? someone that was Photoshop, one hundred percent. Oh, that's that's dumb. Damn. No nah, man, but I mean but this this year though. I mean I've I'm a lot happier than I was last year. I will right. say that. Like for a while, like months ago, like I just fell into like depression where I just felt like no one gave a fuck about me. Right. I, I just constantly drank, you know, I felt like all my, all my friends weren't really my friends. Like I just felt like I wasn't included in shit. Just everyone was just talking bad about me on right. my back. But see, I get in that way. I, I've realized now like who my like true friends are. And right. who isn't. Would you consider me a true friend? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Oh man. No, I'm joking. Yeah. No. No, I consider you a true friend. I mean, we've, we've hung out, like, we've hung out multiple times, even off camera. And, like, you know, even when we went to the bar, like, yeah. I was, like, and we saw that chick who was like, oh, I don't do anything. This fucking chick tried saying there were Wawa's in Texas. There's <laughs> not. Wawa is a, it's a, it's a Northeast thing. There's three of them in Florida. And a couple in West Virginia and a couple. I don't think, no, there's some in Virginia. I don't think there's yeah. any in West Virginia. My buddy Dan would know about that. He lives um 
What's the major city? He, he doesn't live in one of the major cities in West Virginia. I think it's Wait, Huntington. He lives yeah. like, I don't know, I guess a half hour outside of that. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that dude in three fucking years. <laughs> when, we were, when we went to a wedding in Virginia, like two October, oh, no, was it like last October? It wasn't 2018, 2017. We went to uh, Virginia for a wedding. We saw Wawa. I was like, we're pulling into this Wawa. I was like, I don't care what you're saying. So we pulled Because you wanted to see how like different it was. Yeah. It, the coffee tasted. Better. Really? Yeah. Like, so I guess, like, well, what kind of what kind of rolls did they use for the hoagies? How are they? I don't know. Uh, because we're definitely left, not Amoroso. Yeah, we left in the morning though, like early morning. We left around like eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, if I move somewhere, it has to be near a Wawa or something similar. See, I'd love to live in like Florida, but I'd get homesick of Pennsylvania. That's how I feel. Really? Like, I'm I, so used to this area, and like all my family's up here. Yeah. I mean, France, I have obviously. I have family everywhere. I have family. Yeah, in, I got family in California who I've never even met. Really? Yeah. There's so many family members on my dad's side I've never met. Literally last year, I just met my dad's brother for the first time. Really? Mm -hmm. what, like why? Well, here's the thing. After my grandparents died, okay. they died like a year before I was born. They got into like a huge fight and they didn't speak to each other for years. Then my dad and my, my Aunt Carol reconnected. I met her for the first time. And yeah. then they all just started talking again. See, that's the thing with, like, families, and that's what I'm kind of scared of. Like, I see what other, like, parents go through with their, like, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Like, I see what he go like, with my dad. Like, him and his, like, parents fight all the time. Or his parents. His brothers and sisters fight over, like, stupid shit. I don't want to distance myself away from my sisters. But out of the two sisters I have, I only talk to one, and she's, like, 30. And that's the only one I talk to. The other one... We don't talk at all, and I don't. You know what I mean, I don't really know why, but uh, <laughs> need some chairs in here. I'm tired of standing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, like I wish I had chairs in here, man. But I will say one thing: once like the new year hits, <laughs> once the new year hits, that's a little, uh, you know. Once the new year hits, I'm planning on, you know, getting or a house or something. A uh, house? That'd be a long shot. Being a lock guy. Oh, dude, like, I wish I could. Like, even if, even if I do other things like Pico or something, like if I go get another job or this. I mean, like, sometimes like it's kind of cool. Like, mm -hmm. it depends on who I ever have on. You know what I mean? Like, I could have like with like Chris Rat, the guy who I had on. Like, if I had him on like every week of my show, I guarantee you, I'd blow up. Just like that. right. But it's just like with this show, it's different. Like it depends on the guest, and like if the guest is cool and if people like the guest, then it's just like, you know, it's good. But if people don't like the guest, then my views go down. Like if you interviewed, I don't know, Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Then it would like go up. Yeah. And then I would have to interview like someone else, like relevant. Inter interview six nine from prison. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's a piece of shit. I should have went. To, I should have went to. Uh, the Chester uh, prison and interviewed Meek Mill. So Meek Mill, I hear you're in prison. What are you doing? I don't, wait. He was in prison. In Chester? Not in Chester. Yeah, he was. What? I swear to God. You didn't hear that story? That happened Dude, he was time? probably like a god in there. Yeah. He was probably like, yeah. Like, on, like no one would fuck with him. Yeah. Um, no, I will say one thing, though. Like, you know how, like, we both have, like, our mountain house? Mm-hmm. Well, like I got, I got a more of a mountain house than you, bro. Wow. Well, yeah. But at least you're by a lake. That's well, a, a river. river. Yeah. That's pretty sick. The thing is, with my mountain house, it's I, I love it there, but it's a closed down amusement park to me. What do you mean, like? So, like, I had fa like when I was there when I was younger, it was my grandmother, her sister, as in my aunt Barbie the picture I showed you earlier. Um, then my uncle Bob and my aunt Millie were in the house, and then. My Aunt Flossie had my cousin Danny, who you see up there. <coughs> but, uh, you know, we all hung out, did a whole bunch of, like, crazy shit there. Now, like, everyone's doing their own thing. Like, grandparents. Like, it's like a ghost town. Yeah, there's no one there. Uh, yeah. There's no one there. And, like, I'm just sitting there. Like, if me and her are there, we have a good time. But, like, sometimes I'll sit out on the deck in the morning, and I'll just see how – I'll just count how many fish jump out of the water. I'm just like – Yeah, but even that's just, like, relaxing. Like, literally what I do when I'm up at my place, like, first thing in the morning is, like – have coffee or whatever. Yeah. I'll just sit on my deck and just take in nature, take in the view, basically, and just oh. relax. And... Yeah, it's, 
Like I love that place movie. is like my getaway from Delco. Yeah. Like once I go through the tunnel, like I forget about everything in Delco. For real? Yeah, I gotta usually. Go. I gotta go up there with you one day. Like, I'm actually trying to go up in January. January. Um, oh. with some friends on a like the 11th to the 13th. Well, that's my birthday weekend. That's my friend's birthday weekend too. Oh, and she's coming up. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm January 13th. But most of us are going to be riding dirt bikes and quads, so yeah. a little bit boring. I mean, there's a hot tub, too. Oh, really? I love hot tubs. Last time I went up there, I fucking, I got pissed drunk and I threw up in it. Did, did, did your dad, like, get real My bad. dad was fucking, oh, he was fucking heated. <laughs> Man, like. But I, I helped him out with it because I felt really bad, of course. We, um, at my summer house, we put fireworks at my aunt's place. And my uncle had a hearing aid, so my dad he got like cigarette butts and like put up like lit a fuse. So when one firework went off, my uncle heard he was like something fell, and he was like looking around for the fucking fireworks. And uh, my aunt, my aunt Arlene comes over to my house where my nan, my dad, Aunt Barbara, and Daniel and I are just chilling. She's like, my aunt Arlene's like, hey Barb, what kind of cigarettes do you smoke? And she's like, Marlboro Light. Why? Well, the cigarettes that were that. That was a fuse where more about like cigarettes. So my dad bought this that my aunt Barbara smoked, not knowing, lit the fuse at their house. And my grandmother and aunt Barbara thought that Danny and I stole her cigarettes, smoked them, then lit fireworks. <laughs> so <laughs> and and the, and the worst part was there were cigarette butts like all over the house. I remember when uh, my mom found out I was I smoked pot when I was back when I was like fourteen. She was so pissed. Really, <laughs> dude, like. My dad wasn't mad. He was like, at least you tried it. My mom was pissed, though. My mom was real pissed. Um, other than that, when was the first time? I mean, my dad was cool with it. He was like, yeah, I tried it. And, uh, yeah. it everyone tries it. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you. if you don't try it, then you're probably sheltered for life. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, right after we got high, like, we went to Taco Bell. I mean, the one right over there. Like the manager, one of the workers in there, knew we were fucking stupid. <laughs> Taco Bell. I can't remember the last time I was. Oh, I did it in school once. You smoked smoked in school? Like it was on the. You know how you've been Delco County before, right? Oh, you smoked at Delco? Yeah. Like I smoked like outside in the parking lot. Oh. And I got super fucked up. So I go to class, and the teacher's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine." I'm like trying to participate in class, like mumbling my words, and like she was like, "Were you drunk?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" She's like, "Yesterday you were slurring your words and like falling asleep." I was like, "Sure." I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, "Wow." I used to like fool the teachers. You know, like the Hanks root beer bottles. Hanks root beer. Yeah, that. it's like gourmet, like root beer, I guess, or gourmet. It's like for. Oh, I know, beer. like you know, stored the glass bottle. Yeah, that's what it was. Like, I ripped the. Oh, but off. like the. The, like the knockoff version of that. Yeah. Wow. I ripped the tags off and like the my math teacher's like, Are you drinking beer? I'm like, Yeah, a root beer. I was just like because oh. I don't want to stick to class. <laughs> she literally thought I was drinking a beer all the time. I don't know why. Um I fool her though. Many times. Um but uh no, I mean I don't know. This year was really it's really fun filled. Uh I did a lot of things that I never thought I could do like I interviewed, I did like a commercial at Bates Motel. Mm -hmm. like, I interviewed like, one of Bam's friends. I'm going to interview his buddy soon after the New Year's. He's busy at the moment. But it's just like. Yeah, overall, I think 2018, like towards the end, it's gotten, it's getting much better. better than 2017. Right. Like, yeah. I've gotten closer with a lot of old friends, made new friends. The thing is, like, I had friends like last summer. You don't even talk to them. Yeah, because like they so when I first started doing YouTube, I don't know I'll I'll admit like I sucked at my videos. Didn't really have stories. Mm -hmm. When Tori and I were dog sitting, he was like my one friend was like this guy Cliff. He was like, you can't make a video until you come over and edit with me. I was like, you're not my boss, so why the fuck would I do that? So he started his own podcast where he would just like talk about history. But it's like so welcome to. My show. We're gonna read. Uh, we're gonna talk about the reconstruction. Smoke a bowl. Yeah, that was the intro. Like I'll show you the intro after the uh, after this. But like he would read off his history notes, and he was telling me like my like YouTube sucked. This sucked. This that and the third. I'm like, dude, like I'm getting people who are famous on my show. So like, why are you even, like why do you even care? 
I was like, at least I don't read off my history notes. He took offense to that. And we're not friends. And the other three that we used to hang out with, they never talked to me after that ever again. Mm -hmm. And with the one guy we talk about all the time, the one who gets offended about every little thing, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to call him just to, you know. Make amends and, like, forget about everything. But he's the type of kid who's, like, you can't, like, he digs into the past too much, which I don't like. Right. He doesn't let go. And I'm just like, dude, like, the past is the past. Like, I don't want to look into the past because I have, there are good memories, but there are bad memories. That's how I am. And that's how the bad memories come towards me, and I try to, like, push it away. I'm just like, dude, like, I know we talk about, like, you're pissed off, but, like, you can't just get, you have to, like, go to pass. Like, and we're going to break your balls, but, you know, mm -hmm. that's what people do. It's kind of like with the Frosty the Snowman thing. <laughs> like, or, uh, you know, other people would just get offended too easily. Yeah, that's the problem nowadays. Like, everyone's just <laughs> too sensitive. Everyone's <laughs> too sensitive. No, I'm just trying to think of the word for it. Like, I... They're on their, uh, uh, I don't get that though. Like, why are people so sensitive now? Like, I feel like once like the election came, that's when people started getting more offended. Though, yeah, I think it all started with the uh, that shooting. Um, what was it the, the kid who shot up the African church? African oh, that church. Got, yeah. It all started with that. Okay. With, and then they decided, oh, the Confederate flag is racist and all this stuff. Yeah. That's not even the Confederate flag. It's like the battle flag. It's considered the battle flag of right. Virginia. Yeah, no, I mean, all that, that flag does not, like, represent hate to me. It just represents the South. That's right. how I always like the South thought of it as. Again. Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember... You it's part of their heritage. Too. Right. You ever see the Dukes of Hazzard? Dude, like, no, I mean, on. well, the, the movie, the 2005 Dude, movie. I used to watch the TV series before they took it down. <laughs> uh, well, no, I remember the movie when they, when, like, they were on the high. They went through Atlanta, and they were getting... One dude was like, the South arise again, yeah! And the yeah. lady on the right's like... <laughs> Fucking go back to your clan meeting, asshole. <laughs> so they look on the roof and they see the Confederate flag. Oh, we'll make friends down here. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it just, I just don't like how people get offended too easily because, like, you're taking down franchise shows and stuff that was, like, part, like, stuff that no one, like, cared about back then. Like, Rudolph, they took that down. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, they're taking that down. Like, I don't know why. It's because. People overanalyze shit. And yeah, they look deep into the meaning of something. And it's really like this stuff was, wasn't like this shit. That shit was all part of my childhood, and they're like yeah. fucking taking it away. I mean, it's only a matter of time before they take Frosty down. I mean, you gotta think. I mean, he's smoking a pipe. Like, yeah, I mean, and that's that's offensive. Or, but they took a song that was back that was made in like 1940. Baby, it's cold outside. They made it about like rape. Yes, like <laughs> I took a woman's I took a woman's studies class, right? And he was over analyzing the song. He was like, "I printed the lyrics out, so you have to have a we're going to have a read along." So I'm reading the lyrics. I'm like, "Okay, this is back in what 19 like 40, 50, 60, or whatever." He was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Why does it matter?" I was like, "It happened over almost a hundred years ago." And he was like, "Well, it's offensive, and you know, I'm a I'm a female to male transgender, so I was a." Uh, I could have been that lady. I'm like, anybody could be that lady. I was like, a guy can get raped. I was like, you. I don't think a guy would complain about being raped, though. Well, it, it, in some aspect, I kind of was a little bit by a girl. I mean, I wasn't really. I mean, I was like more harassed. Yeah. And, but like, this girl was like kind of psycho. It was kind of like. So I met this girl in college, and she was like telling me, she's like, hey, uh, so I have a question like yeah what's your question well my uh, boyfriend's being like real insecure da, da, da. i was like oh he's probably just an insecure prick she's like okay can i have your number i'm like sure why not i thought she was kind of you know i thought it was cool at first and then she seems like she was like kind of like clingy and then like she started texting me all these random messages and then she started lurking through collingdale trying to find me what yes yeah, so i was being stalked by this girl like three years ago not even and, like my whole oh. point was I'm afraid she's going to come in my house one day and be over to, like, my bed. Dude, that would fucking... That'd be scary shit. Like, you, do you know, like, these... Like, double lock the doors, just... Yeah. Up the I'm glad my dog was a good guard dog back, like, the little guy. He was such yeah. a guard dog, but now I don't have that, so if someone breaks in my house... It's so tough to lose a dog, man. Ah, that was the hardest... I know, dude, it is so hard. It was the hardest part of this year, like... 
Like, I, when you have a dog, it's not just a dog. It's like family. Yeah. And my mom, she's really the say about it. Yeah. Um, dude, my, yeah, I was so I lost nice. my first dog because they were both brother and sister, so they were like. I mean, I mean, lose, I, I grew up with those dogs, and like losing them both, I mean, it just it tore me up. Yeah, I mean, I'm. That they was, both live pretty. I mean, I think they uh, you think they pretty long life. life. Yeah, it, that, one like, made it to almost sixteen. <laughs> that, that was the hardest part for me losing a dog. That was the hardest part of twenty eighteen. Yeah. I should say. I mean, the hardest part is just I had to bury them. I, I put them in the ground. Like, well, they put them in the ground. My cousin and his like stepdad. Like, that was the hardest part for me. Um, that was a shame. <laughs> oh, man, that was so bad. What about, about the that, pets? We had a my uh, our other dog passed away last year. It was tough. Do you have any more? Or? Yeah. But, um, I have three dogs. Three dogs. One's at my dad's. The other two are at my mom's. That's like the that's another thing. Like, say if like your parents were together and they have like three dogs, mm -hmm. and like they get divorced, like. Do they get who gets like the dogs? Like there's like usually from what I've seen, it's the chick who takes the dog. Chick who takes the mm -hmm. dog. That's what happened to my buddy. Well, it happened to uh, Brian too. Uh, um, yeah, his uh, ex-wife took the dogs. Mm -hmm. That's gotta suck. But he like I remember he was complaining. He was like, "I miss my dogs. I miss my dogs." And I'm just like, dude, like you know, I understand. <laughs> yeah, I was so devastated, and I. Flipped out on all three of them by accident because like they were watching this with some, some guy, and that was like the day after I lost Maxi, and I I didn't mean to flip out on them, but I was just so like devastated. Watch it, I don't care, but like you know I'm hurting right now. It's my fucking dog. Like, like my our dog Angel made it to fourteen. Like I didn't start like getting really upset until it was time to bury her because that was like yeah. this is it. Like this is goodbye for good. Right. Yeah, my that dog. was tough too. Like I, I named her. You named her. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I was the one who named her. What, are your dogs like buried in your yard? Well, my two or first two dogs I had, we got them cremated. Their ashes are in my okay. house. Uh, we buried Angel at my dad's. Yeah, our dog is buried out there right now. The worst part is we have like six pit bulls out there, and like they're like. I don't know if they're like fighting dogs or guard dogs or breeders, but like they're fucking vicious. Like I'll never forget. I mean, they could just be overprotective. They could be the sweetest dogs in the world. They're just protecting their territory. One did jump out of the gate. Like oh, he shit. did climb the gate. I never knew dogs could climb gates. But I was walking my dog. This was like the last year, 2017 sometime. I'm walking my dog. I see the dogs bark. I'm like, yeah, fuck you. And then the fuck you karma comes at me. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, fucking run. I'm running. This like lady comes out of nowhere, starts swinging at the dog with the bat. Dog didn't even come. Dude, out. I would have called like. Uh, oh, they did. Animal control came. Yeah, I would have came. Be like, yeah, they're abusing these fucking dogs. But the dog, but it wasn't the it wasn't the owners. Like the dog was chasing. Oh, the dog was chasing after me. Oh. And the lady thought the dog was going to bite me, so she started swinging at it with a bat. And when well, in that came, case, you got to do what you got to do. When animal control came, the dog climbed back in the gate. And they said, well, we can't do anything. The dog's back in the gate. I'm like, he's going to keep climbing out. The dog's not dumb. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. every time he saw animal control, he would jump back in the gate. And then, I guess, I don't know, they got, like, many complaints. That happened with my neighbors, too. They got they have two pit bulls. Like, they kept getting out of the yard. They leave. They would just leave in the yard for, like, 30 minutes, and they'd keep getting out. Like, I got fucking chased by one of them. It was scary as shit. Yeah. That that's the thing. And here's here's the thing. I don't blame the breed. I blame the owners. Because the owners are shitty. Yes, exactly. I've had family members and friends who had pit bulls, the right. sweetest dogs in the world. My uh my sister's old boyfriend had a pit bull mix, and she was the sweetest dog. I mean, I watched the dog, and she was the sweetest dog I've ever uh, met. Her name was uh, Dutchie. I don't know why. I guess a weed reference, but my uncle had a pit a white pit named buddy he was like he was he was deaf too he was like the friendliest dog in the world really yeah we, yeah no pit bulls aren't bad though they're good dogs yeah it's, it's all in how they're raised and socialized yeah and my mom said she, she's never going to get one because they're devil dogs that's what they call them they're, they're great dogs if they're raised right yeah the two dogs next door are named uh brick and cane or cane or something why would you name your dog brick Almost sounds like prick. Like, <laughs> like, he's like, prick, shut up. 
Very prick. I mean, I mean, prick. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog listens. Hey, the dog listens to him. I mean, I don't know, though. But that was hard. I mean, there were some good times and bad times of 2018. And, I mean, no, but you are going to be in the series that I'm working on, though. All right. Um, the anonymous series. Just got to finish writing the story soon. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean – what are your goals for 2019? What do you have a plan to do other than Well, school? I want to I want to go back to school, you know. Just try and lose more weight. I mean, I want to meet somebody. I've been single for like it takes time. I mean, everyone keeps telling me it's going to happen when I least expect it, but it's like uh, it's like when like it, it's it's taking forever. The thing with me before I met her, before I got engaged, I was on Tinder. I keep forgetting you got engaged. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just out. I um, forgot to say that when I first, you know. Uh, no, you're fine. Um, but yeah, before I got engaged and like got into a relationship with her, I met this girl on Tinder. And like, you know, she was I thought she was cool. She was like, Yeah, I like horror and all that, like horror movies, horror like stories. I'm like, oh cool, like, you know, I like horror too. Mm -hmm. Went over her house, it was nothing but straight horror. Couldn't handle it. She was suicidal. Like, oh, you told me about this chick. She told me she we want. She told me that uh, let's hang ourselves together. I'm like, what the fuck? I swear to God, dude. I'm just like, if you truly <laughs> love me, you'll hang yourself with me. I'm like, I'm not gonna kill. I was like, why would I kill myself? I have so much to live for. So she just wanted to hang herself for the fun. Just, just because we it would share our love. And I'm like, I'm not That's, doing that. What the. F what kind of twisted shit is that? <laughs> so so here's here's the best part though. We went to uh I went to Virginia with my cousins and I said, Hey, like, I'm running late for I'm getting done work late. You still wanna hang out? She says, No. All right, whatever. So I'm going to my sister's house, chugging beers on the way up there just to you know drop my dog off. She's like, We hanging out? No. We fought for four days. On Saturday I got fed up, I threw my phone. Shut it off. I said, fuck this. I'm going to drink. I'm going to do whatever I can just to get her off my mind. We broke up that Monday and she starts crying. I said, maybe. And the thing is with me, like, I'm, I'm the nice guy. I'm like, you know what? If we break up, maybe we'll get back together. It's a maybe. She texts me a month later. She's like, so we can get back. So are we going to get back together? No. So there's a chance. <laughs> yeah. She was like, can we get back together? I'm like, no. I was like, I'll try to fly solo. I could be your co-pilot. Solo means solo. Like, by myself. <laughs> so, um, with her, I would go out with my friends, drink all the time. I'd come in the Wawa with fucking sunglasses on because I was like so wasted. And she would like always, we'd always talk. And then I was like, do you want to go on a date? I think the thing with me and her, though, like, we talked on the phone once for when I was on vacation. She was like, can I call you? And we were just talking, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, sure. And we were on the phone for like a good two, three hours talking. I think that's what started it all. Because like, I guess she never had that like system where she could vent to somebody. But I mean, like with us, it's just like, it was just different. You know what I mean? And I miss, I do miss that a lot. Like, but we do talk all the time. Mm -hmm. but, like, I feel like I've known her for 12 years of my life. You know what I mean? Wait, that's how long you've been told you? No, I've known her uh, for only like two years. But, um, I feel like I've known her for 12 years right, right, right. because we were spent every single day together mm -hmm. minus in the beginning of the relationship where we only spent like every other day we spent every day together. And I think I push that more because like, I don't know, like with me, I'm really insecure about myself. Like I always, I still am, but <clears throat> excuse me. I like more, I don't know. I was just like, I guess I got to stay with her more just to get this relationship like start off right. I did. Like, back in October, I asked if I could stay over at her house, slept in her room for the first time, and uh, she didn't like to be cuddled, so, like, if I did this, like, every now and then, <laughs> she wouldn't, like, she was like, you can cuddle with me, but we can't, you can't cuddle with me. Dude, the she's... worst fucking thing is when you're cuddling with a chick, and you just, you know. Oh, oh, you get that. It's like, go, it's like, go down, dick. I just want to cuddle. Go down, dick. Fuck off. Oh, dude, like, I just, like, hide my under, like, but, um, no, like now, like she loves to cuddle with me. Like last night, I'm laying in bed and her arms are around. Like, oh, Nick, I kind of want to get up. 
I mean, I don't want to interrupt her sleeping. So I was just like sitting there like this, like watching a movie. Cause I like, I don't sleep at, like not, like not early like she does. But no, I mean, I don't know. I don't even know what I want to do for 2019. I just like, want to keep doing what I'm doing, you know, just lose more weight, go back to school. You should be my cameraman. You pay me. I don't know. <laughs> this is all the time as YouTube pays me. Uh, no, I hit 1K subscribers. So if I keep getting like 2K, 3K, then I'm eventually going to you know, have money to do that. No, but in like, I guess for 2019 for me, I want to explore more. I want to explore with Dom and Frazier, and you can come too because uh, we were talking about it. What about the tunnels? Uh, it's either the tunnels or Gettysburg or. I'd like to go to Satan'sville during the day. Never been there during the day. No, only at night. Oh, Last time I went there, it was like all fog. It was so fucking eerie. All right. First, well, first time I went there, it was a bunch of friends. And it, was, it was my buddy Craig's car with his wife, my stepsister, and this chick Katie, and my other friend Sean and his, and his car. We went down there. We got chased out by three SUV, three black SUVs. Oh really? Yeah. yeah that's nice. That was the uh, I think they call it the Dupont family. Yeah, that's their name. My grandfather knows them. Was it was it you that was? It was either my buddy Mason or you that told me that like your friend went up to the door of the mansion, knocked on the door, and he got greeted with someone with a shotgun. I told him to get the fuck off. It the was car. a YouTube video that I saw. This was an actual video. Yeah, it's on YouTube, but it's so like. Is it still up? I want to see. Yeah, it. I'll let me see. Like I'll find it after this, but like it's. I think it's like a cell phone video because you really can't see, but you can see the guy coming up to them with a the shotgun. Um, no, when I went to Satan'sville, like, I was with my buddy Steve and this kid Mo in the back, and we were just driving my shitty, uh, Pontiac. I was like, this Pontiac's gonna like, break down, because, like, the check engine like, came on, like, fuck. Wait, did it, like, come on as you were, like... On the road. Really? Yeah. Dude. I went, that would have been a sign to turn the fuck around for me. Well, we, uh, I mean, I kept going back. I went there by myself once. And like that's when I was being stalked, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm being fucking followed." Because there was a car following me for a good like mile and a half, and uh, then I drove on the road itself because I went like towards the back road. But going on the road itself, there's this black SUV that like, got on the side of the road and like started going around me. I'm like, "He's gonna come back and find me." So I just like darted out of there, and that was the scariest for me. Um, but no, I'm actually planning to go back there again during the day. It's funny. We have this book up the mountains. It's called, like, called Weird uh, Pennsylvania. It's, oh, yeah. it's weird. Yeah, yeah. I looked through there. I'm like, wait a second. I wonder if Satan'sville's in here. I'm just skimming through the page. No, I went to the fucking the index or the index. Yeah, that's the part where I go to the page. I'm like, ah, sure shit. Satan'sville was in there. I think he actually did. Wait, let's see if it's the same exact one. Is it the same exact one? No, no, no. Hold on, because I. It's, it's literally called Weird Pennsylvania. Um, let's see. Because I know there's some uh, there's some like stuff in here. Okay, here's content. So, where would it be? A lot of Delco like? shit in here. Yeah, surprisingly, um, Cozart Road. Oh shit! Now I'm thinking about Dart. Wait, was I'm trying to think if this was in that book. Do you know is the house with the fucking planes still there in Darby? You know what I'm talking about? The house with the planes. It's no, it's got a little fucking plane on the side of the roof. You know what I'm talking about? Nah. I used to like it's. I think it's kind of near Bonner. I'm, I'm surprised you don't know about this. No, nah, we gotta go to yeah, This is the this is the road, Cozart Road. Yeah. No, we'll definitely yeah. That's what it is. We'll definitely come here. Yeah. No, and uh, yeah, dude. Once like after Christmas and shit, we'll definitely go. Like, cause I'm pretty much busy for uh, you know, all of Christmas. But I do want to show you something. I want to actually do it, like, not have the camera see. So I'm going to – this is a Christmas present I got her. Let's see. Yeah, a whole Nickelodeon collection there. Right I don't know. <laughs> That's her uh... – one Christmas present I got on Saturday. Sweet. This will be your recent vlog. 
But yeah, dude, I got a whole bunch of shit. Here. I think this Christmas, like, instead of like receiving, I think it would be more giving. More giving? Oh shit! I just, I just noticed the fucking skateboard. <laughs> what what like deck is this? That's a band deck. Oh, so an element. Yeah, and that's this a birdhouse. I had a birdhouse. But it's all like. Oh, uh, dude, my fucking buddy of mine used to have this. No, no, wait. Yeah, his was like this, but blue. The blue. Tony Hawk one, yeah. yeah. That was my first deck, too. I had a birdhouse Tony Hawk. It wasn't this one, though. It was the one with the bigger hawk like skeleton yeah. on it. And it was blue. Dude, I, I ran these boards to shit. But, like, <laughs> I fell on my ass like trying to learn how to skate, so I just stuck with scootering. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't do like any crazy tricks or anything. I think scooter- I, I bunny hopped, and that was bad. Bunny- <laughs> See, like, I, I do want to get a scooter, though. Like a Razor scooter. I was at a car meet and this dude had this fucking. It wasn't like a razor. It was more like a scooter for adults. I want to like find out like what like kind of was. He said okay. it was like 150 bucks. Oh Jesus Christ, dude! It was. You know, I, I'm 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 sitting there. I'm like, cause I mean, obviously I'm a big dude. I'm like, um, I don't think I'm gonna break this thing. I was like, can I try this out? <laughs> and I, I forgot how much fun it was. Oh wow! Hey man, but yeah, dude, 2019, they're coming along. Oh, did was it true you went to um, Slayton with them? Slayton, what, what do you mean? The abandoned school. Didn't you go to with Dom and Fraser once? No, I never hung out with them. No. Oh, it was probably the other Dave. Oh. There was different. They were like hey. detail Dave. And they were like, oh, yeah, Dave on us. I'm like Dave. I was like, there's wait. There's like three Daves there. I think the, wait. I think there's four. Four. There's, there's me, Z, that Dave. No, it's just three of us. Oh, three of us. Trifecta of Dave's. Trifecta of Dave's. <laughs> yeah, no, but if you wanna if you wanna come one day, I'll hit you up and then we'll definitely go. Be down for because that. Because when they were when I was telling them I do YouTube, they're like, Oh you do? I was like, Yeah, they're like, Cool, bro, what's your thing? I was like, Oh shit, all right. And they you know, they showed me. But um I guess twenty nineteen for me hit ten K. I don't know if I'm gonna you know get that. I'm already at one point one. But I guess at 10K subscribers, get more semi-famous people on the show, get like the whole career in social media mm-hmm. started, start making money with Facebook, YouTube, all that shit, and then um, get my uh, YouTube series started, the anonymous series, which I'm gonna have you be in. Uh, you're gonna be the man in the mat or the anonymous guy, because like I'm not gonna spoil it, but like you help my character out in the journey. But then you turn on me or something like that. I think my 2019, I'm just going to go back to school, do the same shit I always do, you know, hang out with friends and shit, fuck around with cars. Uh, I want to fix the red Jeep. The red Jeep. Because I miss it. Uh, summer, I definitely want to go down the shore more and, like, go camping and shit. I did that a couple times with some friends this summer. I had a blast. So I want to do that more. I'm um, probably going to get a tattoo in January, probably like right here, representing my dog. Yeah. That'd be cool. I just want a paw print. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do. I mean, that's my marim- uh, remembrance <laughs> remembrance arm. See, I want to get a tattoo, but like, I have to think this is gonna be on my body the rest of my life. Yeah. Like, what if I get this and then, like, ten years down the road, I'm like, why the fuck did I do this? Yeah, I <laughs> mean, th- this one, this one, like, I got one for my man, and uh, the fucking thing, like. It but here's the thing: when you get tattoos, you get it like you get one. You want you get addicted. Yeah. Like my dad, like, got his first tattoo like nine years ago. He, he got across my my name, my brother's name, my sister's name, and then he was on a streak for like six months. He got like five more tattoos. Oh really? <laughs> he even told me like sometimes he'd like wake up in the middle of the night and just like, what the fuck? When? How did that get? Like when did I do that? You're like oh. <laughs> There's this guy. He worked with uh, Bob over at uh. Sunday. Yeah. Over at this other uh, dealership, and we, um, he was like a rock star. You know, his name's Rob. Rob. He has like the hair, like, and he's just should be. In oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me when he used to drink a lot. He was a big alcoholic. Alcoholic. He would get tattoos as he was like drinking or smoking, and he was like, "Yeah, I used to bleed so much right there." And then when I showed him my tattoo, he was like, "Oh, cool, man." Uh, Tori always says like, "If I ever want to get a tattoo, get it in the winter because it's like." Yeah, I guess in the summertime you can get like burned. You can't go. I mean, you can't really go like swimming or in the ocean. Yeah, that shit too. I'm debating on um, getting like a Kurt Cobain quote here, right? Or up here. But like, 
I want to get a tattoo that's like kind of meaningful too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what about what about Brian? Like B two? Why? What's that quote there? I forget what it is. Is it like something with his parents or? I, I forget. Uh, I gotta have. I would like to have everybody on the show because like, I do like this. Like I don't like. I like interviews. I like just talking about like. You know, bull, just bullshit, bullshit, anything. and like me and you talk about, like me and you've known each other for six, seven months, so like me and you have a lot to talk about. I feel like I've known you like a lot longer, dude. Though. Like, and that's the thing because we've hung out like a lot. Like, mm-hmm. beside, like aside from working together, we've talked a lot. We fucked around a lot. You've hit me a lot. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, so we've known each other a whole lot. But um, I feel like I've known you for like twelve years, like as long as I know her. Mm-hmm. But, um, I feel like that with a lot of friends too. Yeah, I mean, like some friends, it's like they, they just like it's like where were you? Like, yeah. But um, yeah, this year and next year we'll definitely go out a whole lot more and do stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just like with time. Down for that. Definitely, and we'll do scenes, build trips, and all that, and the tunnels. I want to take uh, those two to the twin tunnels. Cause Dude, you need to like get a jeep. Like, it is so. Well, that's what I want. Like a Grand Cherokee. No, you need like an old XJ Cherokee, this, like the like the yellow one in the lot. You need one of those. One of those? Yeah. I feel like it's too like I feel like there's gonna be more problems with. It. That's why I don't like old cars. Like, you know what I mean, I mean, you take care of your car, it takes care of you. It'll take care of you. It's all about maintenance. Well, it's yeah. I mean, I think with this Saturn, my sister kind of fucked it up and ran it to the ground. Like with a Jeep, like off roading, it's so much fun. Really. Mm-hmm. I can be good at a lot. Like you, like you're into like adventurous shit. I think you would like it. I and that's the thing with me. Like I want to do more adventurous things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you, one day though, like in the summertime, I'll get you and a couple other people. We'll go to Dorney Park because it's right by the mountains. Oh, right where not where my mountain house is. Anyways, we should go to the mountains, like film there. Because I have like a GoPro where I can just fucking like film in the water, and they would never know <laughs> since you can't really film there. You know what I mean? But um. Hey man, thank you for being on the show. Like it's the last show of the year. You want to be on yeah. more though. I would like to get a whole bunch of people here, but once I get more chairs and shit in here, then I'm just gonna, you know, bullshit around. But I gotta figure out a whole lot of shit. One thing you need to do though is you need a better camera. Looks like you film with a fucking toaster. Oh yeah, well it's my laptop. It's... Well, you're, I'm, I'm just saying like your actual camera, like when you're when you're out and about. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, it looks yeah. like you film with a toaster or a potato. No offense, bro. <laughs> Oh, dude, well, I gotta get a better one. Like the one that's right down there, just chilling right there. Um, but yeah, no. Hey, man, thank you for coming on. No problem, bro. And we'll definitely do more and more shit. So uh, that's it for this uh, episode. I'll be back. What day is it? The twelfth. I'll be back like probably before my birthday, which is like January fourteenth. That's the first show of the new year. I'm gonna be doing pre-recorded episodes. So I have like a couple more things like coming out. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um. Say bye. Later. Later. Um, he'll be on the show more and more in my blog. So uh, check out all my social medias right there on the side. And I'll see you guys later. And wow, this is a 50 minute fucking interview. Holy shit. Yeah, how, wait, how long? 50 minutes. It, 50 minutes? We can make it 50 Holy minutes. Holy shit. We have, like, we have uh, okay, what do you want to talk about for like 10, 45 seconds? Porn? I don't know. Porn, I never, uh, <clears throat> I never really enjoyed porn. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. But like, yeah. I never really watched as much. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Girls, we talked. We already covered that subject. All right. Are you more tits or ass? Oh, ass. I'm a little bit of both, but I'm more ass. More ass. Yeah, I'm more ass. <laughs> what do you like mean? What whoever, you mean? whatever motherfucker invented yoga pants. Like, I want to find this dude. I'm buying him a drink. Dude, like, I love. I used to love yoga pants. Actually, I wore. Her yoga pants once. Are you hearing this? Dude, like, what, what the? F- like, did you just see how comfortable they were? Like, yeah. did they fit? Because, like, I don't know how people wear them. I don't know how girls wear them. It's kind of like with the whole dress thing. Like, I that's I wore that to see what it felt like, and then she was like, "Put my bra on." Like, oh. all right, that that's weird. Well, no, that that was just more just uh, something to scare my mom to see what she would say. What the fuck? No, she was like, "Are you sure you're not gay?" <laughs> I kind of think he is. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Not. <laughs> All right, guys. One day he's gonna come out of there. Alrighty, I'll come out of there many <laughs> times. No homo. All right, guys. Later. See you guys uh, in three weeks or so.
So these next couple of clips, they're mostly vlog type videos. So Dave was on a couple of uh, vlogs that I did. He sung a duet with Tori and he just, you know, we just hung out, did a few awesome things. We also did drive through pranks as well. So, uh, yeah. My man, Dave. You've seen Dave's in the vlogs before. It's been a minute. It's been a long minute. Almost a year. He's actually a professional guitar player. No, he actually does a lot of good covers, though. Not a professional. Not a professional. It's like a hobby. I'm just a hobby. Hobby. Yo, know, I actually... Hobby, yes. But here's a clip of my band uh, jamming out. Uh, what about 21 Guns by Green Day? I could probably learn the chords in like five minutes. Learn chords in five minutes? my mouth from a fucking hot air balloon than live in California. Okay, South Carolina. How many fucking yee -ye hicks? What are yee <laughs> yee -ye -ye hicks? <laughs> it's a bunch of fucking yee yee cousin fucking motherfuckers. That's what uh, What about what about what about St. Louis with Justin? Maybe Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, um, I could probably live in South Carolina if it was like, you know, Myrtle Beach. That's no, that's what we're Trump planning on doing. We're going ah. to Oh. We want to move to Myrtle Beach, right? Myrtle it's probably expensive Beach. in Myrtle Beach. Myrtle no, it's cheap. Beach. Dude, Myrtle yeah, dude, down Beach. south, like, it's so, like, cheap. Myrtle Beach! Myrtle Beach! If you, hey, so... Pebble Beach? No, I'm saying, if we go house hunting, you want to come? Maybe. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Get back! <laughs> she doesn't know what she's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I don't, I don't know. You don't know the lyrics? No, but like <coughs> calling someone a dirtbag, just saying it like her boyfriend's a dick. She brings up to school. You know this is this song came out right after Columbine, so guns a naughty word. All right. TJ's fucking gay. I'll slap you up. What the fuck is that? My keys. Shirt, shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse into the fucking. <laughs> yeah, do you still have the two for six Whopper deal? Yeah. Um, can I get one of them with no tomato on it? You like tomato, right? Oh, can I get both of them with no tomato on it? That'll be it. Thank you. You can have it. I'm not a big Whopper guy. I'm not gonna eat two of them. Throw it out a fucking car. Yeah, that's a good one. That's how y'all feeling. Cool. We're just doing pranks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, BK, you already know. They coming through my drop through bathroom.
Yeah, you want to subscribe? What's your channel? TJ's Vlogs. Here. Run around. Take your seatbelt off in a second. I guess we're gonna run around. Like we'll run around. I'll get back in the driver's seat and stuff. Oh shit! Wait, I thought I was in the driver's seat. Well, I mean, we could. Yeah. I'll do it my seat. All right, ready. Yeah, I get a large diet coke. A large diet coke. Yeah, yeah. my phone's under your hand. That'll be it. Thank you. 106. <laughs> and then, and then when we go, oh. and then let's go through the window. We'll do a Chinese fire drill again, and then we'll just. Drive. <laughs> People are probably like, "What the fuck are these dudes doing?" <laughs> so, which way are you gonna run? That way, and I'll run back. I'm about to like slide across the hood. I'm not doing that. Ain't, that ain't happening. Never mind. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, why don't your subscribers donate you money so you can get a new fucking car? Why? 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 Yo, he's flipping shit. He's flipping ass. He's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who's paying for this? Skirt! Skirt! <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, stupid. Watch out. I see him, I see him. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys. I was doing a series called Dimension X, and my friend couldn't make it. You know, my friend Devin couldn't make the show, and I had to just talk to somebody to help me. This is the first time that Dave has ever acted, and it's the most hilarious video I've ever seen. But um, this is the final clip I'm going to show you guys for TJ TV. Lucifer? It's me. Are you ready for this? Alright, let's do this then. You. No! Get out of here! Alright guys, that was the Dave Richardson Retrospective. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe on Spotify, Anchor.fm, Google Podcasts, much, much more. Also, like and subscribe on YouTube. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of uh, stuff soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything. And we will see you guys on Monday for a new podcast. Only on TJ TV, the Retrospective Series. And happy 4th of July.